Hey guys, welcome to another dupe video. I think on Monday when I was sharing with you guys what is new at the drugstore and I shared that I also totally decluttered my collection, organized things by colors and etc. Things are just very tidy in this beauty room. My point is I found a lot of dupes and you know, some I shared in that video and then I have five of them that are really great that I thought I would just share today because dupes are always fun. It's always a great thing to be able to save some money and have some options. I'm wearing some of it right now and I bet you can't even tell. The bottom lip is different from the top lip. One's expensive, one's not. Inner corner, mm, one's expensive, one's not. Can you tell? Can you tell? Place your bets now. Let's start actually with the inner corner of my eyes. I was at the drugstore looking at makeup what's new uh and i spotted this beautiful pigment from jesse's girl called secret weapon and i remembered organizing all of my turquoise slash green eye stuff and i was like wait a second that looks exactly exactly like a star powder from make it forever which is twenty dollars this is not twenty dollars this is so affordable and these are identical like not even just like kind of identical kind of similar these are identical. So here is the Makeup Forever. Here is the Jessie's Girl. Similar jar even. Same amount of product. Pigment is identical. And I am wearing the Jessie's Girl on this eye and the Makeup Forever on this eye. Bet you couldn't tell a difference. If I had to like repurchase again, I would just buy the cheap one because the same thing okay moving on you know how sometimes you see like oh this is my mac haul and it's a collection from last year and you can't buy it anymore and then you go on amazon and you're like oh my god that lipstick is 89 dollars now are you kidding me just because it was limited or you can't find it at all i want to share with you guys from the alluring aquatics collection from last year which i did do a haul on and i have been loving this lipstick behind the scenes like i try my best in tutorials and on camera to not wear all the limited edition stuff that way if you guys are like oh what's on your lip i can be like oh it's this and you can go buy it instead of being like oh sorry you're too late you know so i don't like wearing a lot of my like special mac stuff for you guys um but off camera this color beautiful like such a beautiful medium toned peachy pinky nude this is called enchanted one this one is on my bottom lips right here neat, 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 neat. and i have a dupe for $1.99 p.s i paid $17.50 for this this one right here from wet n wild i love wet n wild Love the Mega Last lipsticks. These have been a fave of mine forever. Did not realize until I was like swatching uh, my entire arm up with all of my beigey pinky nude lipsticks that these two are so identical. Look at that. Bam. I'm literally wearing this one on the top lip, this one on the bottom, $1.99, $17.50. Can't buy this anymore. Wet n Wild for the win. Okay, so this one is a beautiful color and Urban Decay just launched their matte revolution lipsticks that I talked about and tried on yesterday. And there's this one. So they're actually all could be like a little family right here. So if you want stark naked and you're like, ah, I don't want to spend $22 on a matte revolution lipstick, then just go the $1.99 route and pick up some 902C Bear It All from Wet n Wild. Um, I already have another dupe for Urban Decay. I hope Urban Decay does not watch this video. They sent me these lipsticks and I'm like, here's a cheaper version. Um, <laughs> anyway, watch yesterday's video. There are nine shades in total and they are such a fantastic formula. I kid you not, I'm in love with them, but you know, this is a budget video and we're talking about things that are more affordable. So I wanna share with you guys that a dupe for the shade After Dark, which I love, which I've been wearing a lot, is from L'Oreal, which is another product that I have been raving about. Uh, this is a matte lipstick crayon and this is in Matter of Fact. These two are not totally identical but again they could be sisters they're very close 
The texture is very similar. They are both a comfortable mat. They are not a drying mat. You know, one of course is in a tube, the other is in the stick form, so there might be a preference that you have there. But look how close these are. I've been alternating days, like wearing this one day, this one day, this one day, this one day. And when looking at photos, I'm like, gosh, I can't even tell. So uh, that is a wonderful drugstore dupe for this new Urban Decay After Dark Matte Lipstick. The Make It Forever, those are identical twins. The lipsticks are sisters. Uh, these are cousins, so they are not exactly the same, but they are so close that it is worth mentioning because it's a good quality solid formula product. So it's not just, oh, this matches the color, like the formulation of it is really, really great. I was at Walgreens and the employee there, Ashley, who, hello, Ashley, you are a sweetheart. You helped me out. You recommended this to me. I was like an impulse buyer. I'm at the counter and I'm like, so what else do you have that is new? This magical eye pencil. This is the eye crayon color saturated pencil in sparkling citrine. And I didn't even like swatch it or nothing. I was just like, done. Ashley, if you recommend it, I'm taking it home with me. So thank you. I love it. I love, love, love it. And I love it so much that I wanted to show you guys in this video. Um, that was a dumb place to swatch. Get it together. Is that better? Wow. Uh, okay, so that was the drugstore option that is $10. This is the Marc Jacobs option which is a little bit brighter and a little more chunky in the glitter department. And then this Make It Forever Aquamatic, same idea, is a little more on the pink side. So it's kind of like this is the peachiest version. And I know it's not an exact dupe, but I still just wanted to show you guys because ultimately when you put these colors on the inner corner especially or in the waterline or you're just smudging things out for a little bit of shine, they all end up looking very, very similar, and why spend over $20 when you can get one that is such a beautiful, beautiful formula, and I actually prefer this kind of peachy tone more than the pink and the more icy tone, so why not? Save some cash. Try this out. It does not move. It is beautiful. I really need to do a hot or not with these new blushes from Too Faced. I have been trying every single color out, and I want you guys to know I don't just swatch things. I do put them on my face. I'm constantly, constantly trying makeup. This color is gorgeous. I'm not saying this is a bad product. That's not necessarily what this video is about. It's about great products, but if you want something that is similar from the drugstore, here are some options. So this item is beautiful. I am wearing this today on both cheeks. I was filming other videos and I was like, uh, if you can pick it up on camera that there is a slight difference, I didn't want to look like a total psychopath. So I am wearing this on both of my cheeks right now. But as I was getting ready for this video, I realized that a blush from Makeup Geek, which is talc-free, paraben-free, beautiful formula, and only $9.99 for a pan, or $12.99 for the actual compact, in Love Affair is just like identical. Well, not exactly identical, but pretty gosh darn close. They are both a watermelon pink. They are both beautiful. They apply richly, but not over crazy saturated. They're just gorgeous. I just, I love this kind of pop of pink that it gives and it's flattering with so many different eye looks and shirt looks. <laughs> I always like, I don't want to match my clothes to my makeup, but I do put kind of a little bit of thought between like what I'm going to wear and my makeup. Do you guys do that too? Let me know. Um, all right. So there you have it. Those are my five favorite dupes at the moment. And as I continue swatching and kind of putting an inventory together of all of my stuff, which is bananas. I will continue to do these videos as I discover new things that are very, very similar or identical. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of a video, just like a quick five rundown, give it a thumbs up, share this video, uh, tell your friends about this video, subscribe to my channel, support my channel. Let me be more pathetic begging you to love my channel. Uh, but I just want to add like so many of you guys in the comments section, you always say like, oh, I wish Tati had more subscribers. That's like the nicest, nicest compliment to me in the universe. But really, uh, I, I'm not promoted heavily on YouTube. I'm an independent channel. I don't belong to a network. 
Um, so when you guys share my videos and like my videos, it really, really does help me out. So uh, yeah, let me just throw that out there for you guys. If you enjoy what I do, sitting here and swatching up my arm for you and your beauty knowledge then you know share some love so i hope you're having a good one and i hope to see you guys at beautycon too i'll be there saturday and at the gap at the grove on sunday and i cannot wait to meet you i cannot wait to just do the whole meet and greet thing again because the whole birch box gap thing was so much fun i can't even get over it i literally i don't think i'll be able to sleep tonight i'm like a kid on christmas like waiting to just like see you all. So I hope that uh, if you go to BeautyCon that you will come and say hello to me. And if you're not going to BeautyCon, I hope that you have an excellent weekend and I will see you on Monday. All right, bye guys. Mwah.